Howdy, folks. How we doing tonight? Brody making a great entrance as always. Hi, hi, hi. Locked us. Good to see you. Um, so we're back here with Pokemon Emerald. Two things I want to point out. One, look at those little flowers. Just moving back and forth. Like, just a little flourish like that. You see the little flowers next to the sign? How they just move side to side. This is just, like, obviously a really limited, like, pixel game. Those little details, that's what it's about, man. It's great. It's lovely. Um, what's up, Mom? <laughs> Got the Lugia head. Um, also, I don't know if you're Better Call Saul fans, anyone, but I have my Hamlin Hamlin McGill shirt on. Very fond of this one. Better Call Saul is amazing. And I stand on the opinion that it's just as good as Breaking Bad. It's very different, but it's just as good. Um, anyway. Oh, what's up, Cry? Good to see you. Yo, yo. Um, all right. So, we are here. We are at, uh, we're in Moss Deep City. As you can see, we have these magma guys down here. And there's Maxi. Where are they going? Looks like we're going to have to follow them. See what they're up to. All right. Um, we're actually getting into one of my favorite little bits of the story. This part is super sick. Um, so, Team Magma, um, they are doing something here at the Space Center. Ooh, crazy scary music. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, Luki got bigger. I took your, I took your, uh, uh, what's, what's the word? Your criticism. Um, so you can kind of tell it's Lugia more. Um, all right, so now we got a couple grunts here. Uh, Team Magma is trying to do something here at the Space Center. So we gotta, we gotta fight some of these guys before we can get to the main, main event. Um, let's see. I know, I, I gotta, I gotta keep trying to make some, some nice, um, emotes for the people, you know? Oh, Rock Tomb, I hate to see it. Ah, that does do nothing. Baltoy, thankfully, is not a rock type. So we're sitting, sitting pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> there you go, Blaine. Lovely, that might be their only one. Yes. Um, do, do, do. <laughs> All right. So now we have this fellow right here. Our leader said no one, but no one gets past me. Whoa. Um, let's see. What <laughs> should you vandalize first? Brody, you you do what you feel. Do what you feel. Um Alright, so this person's got a little more got a little more heat than just the one ball toy, even though at level 26 Mightyena at this point in the game is not very strong. Because we just defeated Tate and Liza, and they are just beefy. They got level early 40s. Um, so we're able to deal with this pretty easily. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and a Nummel. Just go with Blaine. My phone be buzzing over here. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And that's just going to be an easy surf to wipe this little guy off the face of the earth. Lovely. But how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty well. Um, my wife and I actually went and got some fun morning beverages this morning. It was delightful. Um, let's start with Ron, actually, over here. Um, you <laughs> gave me sunglasses. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, you're doing well, Octas. Great. Um, but yeah, we went and got some good drinks this morning. It was, it was lovely. We spent some time. She is off seeing a concert tonight. Ah, so now we got these three people right here. These three grunts. Three to one. They're going to take us on. One after the other. Um, even though they're all terrible, and I'm pretty sure they all only have one Pokemon. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal for us. We're doing great. Like, this guy has a Zubat. Come on. Level 32 Zubat. I think a Strength might... Yeah. 
Just a regular old strength took care of that Zubat. No triple battle. I know, Brody. I wish you could do a triple battle in this game. That's not until Generation 5, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure only Generation 5 is uh, triple battles. Huh. All right, that's fine. We'll just Dragon Breath like the other ones. Oh, no. Oh, that works. Lovely. And then finally, oh wait, no, I thought they all only had one Pokemon, but it turns out they don't. Um, one of them has two! How scary! Um, oh, Baltoy is actually a very terrible matchup for Ron, but we're going to leave him in. We're going to see what happens. I don't know if Baltoy has a uh, ground move right now, and it doesn't matter because we got a critical hit. Lovely. Ooh, a horde battle in Generation 6. Yeah. I haven't thought about horde battles in a long time. Um, okay, so now that we defeated all three of these guys, they all they all back up and they're fine. But this is something that's really fun and something that I enjoy a lot. Um, let's see. What do I want to use here? Um, we can use Blaine because we're about to do something super sick. Let me... Just give you a little heal. There we go. Um, we're going to save because I have anxiety. I'm going to start with you, I think, because I don't remember what they start with. Um, lovely. Okay, so when you go over here, we have our boy Steven, and he is talking to Maxi. What does he have to say? Team Magma, what's the point of stealing rocket fuel? They're trying to steal rocket fuel. Um, they're going to jettison the entire load into Mount Chimney, and they're going to use the fuel's power to make the volcano make the volcano erupt. Um, so he pushes Steven back, but now we can talk to Steven, and we can thwart Team Magma's plot with Steven. Oh, so we get to pick three of our Pokemon. I'm going to take Blaine, Harry, and Ron. And now it is a two-on-two -two double battle. Mm. Got the great music. Look at this! Got Steven's team. He's got a Matang, a Skarmory, and an Aggron. Aggron is what Ron will evolve into. Ooh. That music, baby. Ooh. Um, okay. This is one of my favorite parts of this game. It's so awesome. Um, I also wish Piccolo was Dragon type. That would be super cool. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what to start with here. Um, so let's do this. Um, we're just going to Dragon Breath you, just because that Mighty Enna brought our attack power down. light screen that's fine yeah his matang does likes to kind of support the squad a little bit more um nothing too terribly crazy i might go for a dragon breath on um camera up yes brody i have i have seen something i have i have seen something about that i think they literally all they did was just change that he was a dragon type or that uh, Sceptile was a dragon type. Oh, very nice critical hit from a Tang. I love that. Because um, if we're talking about the same person, I think he's working on overhauling Emerald altogether, which is cool. Um, all right, this is great. I'm actually going to swap Blaine out, and I'm going to bring in our boy Harry, because we are just going to just surf both of these camera ups and just wipe them out. Um... Hopefully we don't get anything too crazy from them that will hurt Harry too badly. Amnesia. That's actually a really good move by Maxi because that'll help against that four times weakness to our Surf. Um, so let's do this. We should definitely take out the level 36 one. Uh, but yeah, with that Amnesia, the level 44 one's able to hold on. Um, all right, that is lovely. Blaine gets to level 38. Um, this is exactly why I wanted Harry, because I know they're going to have two camera ups. What I don't like about this battle is that you have Maxi and you had the Magma Admin, and they have the exact same team. 
Um, just one has slightly lower levels. It's kind of, you know, whatever. Um, yes, that's right, Brody. I have played the version of Crystal that he made, and I actually really loved that. Um, I want to play the version of Yellow, too. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I know exactly what you're talking about. I feel like there will come a time in the future that I'll play um, the Crystal ROM hack that he made. Crystal Legacy, he called it. Um, yeah, I would like to. I would like to play that. I think at some point. Um, but we got a lot to get to before that time, baby. Um, all right. Now camera up's bringing the earthquake. Let's see what what it does to Harry. Oh, not too much actually. It does knock out his own ally though, which I love to see. Hmm. Ah yes, I believe. Uh, I think we we're actually able to hold on because Matang set up that reflect, so good on you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna try Blizzard, actually. Oh, you've been playing Yellow Legacy, how is it? Um, again, I would like to try it. I think it'd be super cool. Um, I know I want to use... On, the, on those games, he kind of designed it so that you can obtain Pokemon... Sorry, that red health thing is bugging the crap out of me. Um, that you could have... Ah! Alright, we still hit the goal bat. Um, he kind of made it that you can obtain Pokemon that are like trade evolution only and stuff like that, which I really like. Um, and Pokemon just aren't really readily available in the game. Um, just making things... Putting things in more advantageous positions to where you can actually use it in a playthrough. Oh, Harry takes a critical hit. How sad. Um, um, no big deal. We got, we got Rock Tomb on Ron. We're gonna take these guys out in no time. Mmm, that Psychic, love it. Sorry, I forgot about that red health thing. I turned the, the music back on. Yeah, we're gonna be good to go. I hate Confuse Ray, guys. It's one of my least favorite moves of all time. But we got the critical hit, Psychic! And that takes down Maxi. Um... Wow, you played to the start of Victory Road. That's amazing. What's your team, Brody? Um, I know I want to use Kingler in my first one. This is great. So here... Oh, he just wants to expand the landmass. Um, so here at the Space Center, this is actually the last we hear of Team Magma um, actually actively trying to expand, to expand the landmass. Um, they failed to control Groudon. Is our goal to expand the land misguided? Question mark. If we are wrong, then might Team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally misguided? All right, so they're they're on to something. They're finally wisening up. Uh, but yeah, that battle with Steven thrills me. I love that very much. Um, so now that we uh, have this battle with Steven... We can go to his house, and he's going to give us a little something when we get there. Um, let's see. So let's do this. I know, I'm pretty sure it's this fellow here. This guy will actually give you, yes, he will give you a sunstone. Um, this will evolve your sun currents into sun flora, your glooms into bell awesome. It's a lovely little item. ba 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 da da ba da 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 not something we're planning on doing, but it's a good little good little pickup. Um, it is really nice that because of that free sunstone in this game, you're very you can very easily run Bell Awesome in this game if you want to, which is really neat. Um, I'm actually gonna pop it in the PC really quick. Sometimes I like to I'll just put that in there. Um, I'll, I'll check to see if we can go into Shoal Cave and get the Shoal Shells. That'll be fun. Oops, not that. Um, all right. Actually, I saw that big pearl there. So I'm going to go to the Mart. I'm going to sell that. Lovely. And what else can we pick up here? I think we can pick up a good amount of Hyper Potions. Um, oh, we have 17, actually. I didn't realize that. There we go. Pick up some full heals. 
Always nice to have revives. Oh yeah, we're sitting pretty as far as items go. Um, pick up a couple net balls. I really enjoy net balls. Um, and we're actually going to need a new water type Pokemon soon for a reason I will explain. Um, alrighty, so let's pop over here. So this is Steven's house, and when you go in, hey, there you are, buddy. Good to see you. Um, SCG, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all that you've done. He gives you the HM for dive, and dive is what we will need to progress through the story, which is lovely. Um, yes. So... Dive is going to be really cool. It will help us progress through the story, but there's also a lot of great, like, hidden areas you can access. Pikachu, Alakazam, Gengar, Charizard, Wartortle, Vileplume. Very nice. I see that you uh, are using a couple of those trade evolutions like I talked about. That's super dope. Um, okay. So here. What we need to do... Let me save because I have anxiety... We're gonna pop in this water, and I'm gonna try to find a decently high leveled one. Um, let's see if we find it here. Nope, not quite. So what I'm trying to do, I'm actually trying to find, ah, oh, that'll work. Um, I'm trying to find a tentacle, which we'll catch here, because we need a Pokemon that can use both Dive and Waterfall. And Tentacool in this sea is always really good to catch. I don't like to teach the water Pokemon that I use all three water HMs. That's kind of overkill. So I like to have a dedicated water Pokemon that uses those HMs. So that's what we're doing right now. Mm. Oh, you're just going to stop training more Toilet and Vile Bloom? I mean... You could probably just run the game with uh, um, uh, Alakazam and Gengar. All right, so here is why I got the Netball. The Netball works better on water and bug-type Pokemon. Since I knew we needed to catch this here Tentacool, I got us a Netball. Hopefully it catches it. Makes me look smart. Ah, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. All right. Um... Let's see. Brody, you can nickname this Tentacool if you want to. We will not be using it on the team, but it will be a valuable HM member. Bentacool. <laughs> I love that. We'll go with that. Bentacool. There we go. Um, <laughs> Tentadrool. Classic. Um, okay. So now that we have Tentadrool, um, what am I going to do right now, actually? Um, ah, yes. Okay. So... Before we teach Tentacool Dive, we are actually going to make our way to um, this specific town on the map. I'll show it to you. We need to get down here to Pacific Log Town, um, which means we got to go through all this route here. There's quite a few trainers through there, but it's not a big deal. I'll probably try to skip a lot of them for now. Um, just so we can get through just a little bit easier. Um, I'll probably pick up more super repels before too long as well. We definitely have enough to get us there. Oops, oh, who is this? Oh, hi, May. Ah, I was just in Pacific Log a little while ago. I saw a giant green Pokemon flying high in the sky. Could it be why this game is called Pokemon Emerald? Let's see. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what it was. Is this maybe a major discovery? Maybe. Um, all right. So now we got to go down here. And as you can see, there's that big open dive area. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of trainers along the way here. Um, 
this spot specifically, right here, that's where we want to dive. Um, but first we're going to take care of some of these trainers, like this guy. Yes, I thought this man had a star you. Um, we'll just use some confusion. I don't remember when Chimeco gets, um, whatchamacallit, Psychic. I'm pretty sure he will get it sooner rather than later. I have to double check that, though. Um, even though I have been very impressed with Chimeco's special attack thus far, um, I've never really used one. I really like Chimeco. Um, but yes, there's no one down here. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised at its, um, capabilities, special attack wise. Um, every second battle starts, battle starts, battle starts. Um, oh yeah, oh my gosh, you are so right. Um, repels are amazing. And one good thing, you're talking about that ROM hack, one great thing that they did in there was make it so, oh, I thought it was about to be psychic. Heal Bell, I don't remember what this does. Chime soothingly to heal all status abnormalities. You know what? I will actually get rid of Psy Wave because Psy Wave is a really bad attack and Heal Bell could come in handy. Um, so let's just learn that. I might get rid of it later, but it's a nice little thing. Sharpedo is dark type, so we definitely want to get out of there. Um, and Sharpedo, again, doesn't have any water moves, so we're going to use Torkoal. And Sharpedo is famously... Whoa, a critical hit, though. That'll hurt. Sharpedo is famously frail. We should be fine. Oh, boy. Okay, great. <laughs> um, Sharpedo actually has really good physical attack. Um, I'm going to use one of those hyper potions that we bought on our boy. Guzzle. There we go. All right. Let's get Piccolo in the front, because he can deal with a lot of these water trainers. Yes. Okay, so we're going to keep going here um, to the west um, until we get to Pacific Log Town. It'll make a lot more sense why I'm doing this now later um, because just there's just some stuff later that it will be really easier to do it, much easier to do it from that town. Um, so that'll give us a really nice shortcut later. We'll be able to fly back there. Um, all right, so as we keep going through here, we'll get into this double battle. Um, mm, yes, Brody. Because um, like on our Pokemon Yellow playthrough, that is why our Gyarados Keith Angel was so good. Um, because it used one special stat. Um, it wasn't special attack and special defense back in the day. It was just special. Um, and that made it super, super good. And that is why Alakazam is incredible in those games. Let's see. <laughs> and because of his special name. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true, Tess. Thank you. Um, all right. Love to see Guzzle at level 38. Um, especially going through all this water. I hate to see one HP, but that was no big deal. We got that quick attack. We are looking solid. Swimmer Tisha. Or Tisha? I don't know how would you pronounce that. Um, yes, it did. And that's kind of why I think um, Mewtwo is considered one of the highest base stat total Pokemon just because of how it appears in Generation 1. So yeah, we're just cruising on, on by. Our boy Piccolo is really uh, cutting down these fools. Um, really just making mincemeat of them with that Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade is such a cool attack. Um... I remember when I taught it to my first grow vial, the whole, uh, it was so, so cool. Okay, actually, this is interesting. Here on Route 30, there can sometimes be a big island called Mirage Island. I'm pretty sure it's here. It's on one of these routes. 
Um, and it's where you can catch why not what we got from that egg in Lava Ridge Town. Um, I've never seen it, but apparently you can you can find it. Um, uh, let's see. Oops, thought I was gonna be in that guy's line of sight. Um, you've been looking to get back into Emerald. Ah, it's interesting. Um, so Cry's asking asking about like natures and IVs and stuff. Um, so that's all kind of stuff that I don't care about when I'm doing just a regular playthrough. Um, because like when I was looking for a Torkoal, I found a Torkoal and I caught it. I didn't look at his nature at all. Um, like effort values are basically, I don't know what it is for Gyarados, but Sceptile will get a certain effort value for de defeating a Gyarados. Let's say it's like plus two attack. Um, and it's kind of like a secret hidden stat that you don't see. Um, IVs are kind of secret stats that appear like naturally in your Pokemon, where effort values, that's why it's effort values. Um, EVs are ones that you can kind of cultivate, and that is more something that you'll encounter with like more competitive stuff, and something we may or may not uh, deal with later. Um, but as far as regular playthrough, I don't worry about it. Um... Do I have any idea of the next non-Pokemon game? I was actually going through um, some of the things that I wanted to play, and I want to get a better capture card first, um, because I have some, like, PS4 and Switch stuff I want to get into. Um, one thing that I will definitely say is that I really want to play through at least several of the Kingdom Hearts games. I love those games. They're some of my favorites ever. Um, and for me, that franchise is kind of like on par with Pokemon. I just, I love it. I've played it forever. Um, so I would really like to get into those games. I don't know if that will be next, um, but I do anticipate it being relatively soon. Um... Oh, yeah, you're trying to not care as much. Yeah, I, I feel like it's freeing, you know? And again, for a normal playthrough, it's just not going to come up very often or really matter. Um, it mattered when we were looking for Feebas earlier in our playthrough just because I wanted to make sure it would like the Pokeblocks we would be giving it. Um, and again, there's something I do have planned later where we will care about those things. But now as we're playing through the story, no big deal. Um, at least until E4 are beaten. Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, let's just use Dragon Breath on you. Yeah, luckily Torkoal can still do some damage to these water types with its body slam. Um, I want to take care of Sfeel quickly. Because it's got... In fact, we're going to double up into it. Because I don't want to take any ice moves from it. Excuse me. Oh, it's just going to body slam anyway. Love it. Um, but yeah, Brody, don't know what the next non-Pokemon game will be. Um, but I know I do want to get into Kingdom Hearts a lot. Um, that'll be super fun. But I have a lot planned. Um, I kind of just went through what the next, like, year or so, year or even two... Um, might look like for the channel. I will use James and Ron this time. Got plenty of nice swimmer double battles here. But yeah, that Mirage Island, um, where you can apparently catch Why Not, I, again, I've never seen it. I don't know if it's if it's something like really special, or if it's just crazy rare, or if it's just like Certain criteria has to be met that I just have never met. Um, but, uh, yeah. Apparently it can happen on one of these routes. Um, it's a lot like the Mirage Tower, but the Mirage Tower, I think, always shows up that first time you go to the uh, to the ruins. Um, to the desert ruins after you beat Flannery and get the Go Goggles. Oh, hello, sir. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> you use the bad IVs and natures as, as an excuse in case it dies. Yeah, so it's the Pokemon's fault. Weak Pokemon. You sound like the Gen 2 rival. Yeah, I feel like most of what we've come up against, the confusion has been a pretty consistent two-shot, and that's not even a very powerful move. Um, so let's see. Yes, we'll fight you. Lovely. So I gotta be careful with Sea King. It, I don't know if it knows it yet, um, but Sea King actually learns the really powerful bug move Megahorn. Um, and that would have annihilated the weak to bug moves Chimeco, but I don't think it has it right now. Um, so we sitting pretty. We're looking all right. Um, let's see. Because it was me, I'm whatever your rival's name was. <laughs> um, what was our rival's name in our Crystal playthrough? I don't remember. I know, like, canonically, the Gen 2 rival's name is Silver. Um... But I don't remember what we called him. Did we just call him Brody? Um, let's see. Wonderful. I will keep Chimeco in. Chimeco is just uh, is just kicking butt and taking names right now. I was about to say, and then we immediately see a Carvana um, that we can't use Confusion on because it's Dark type. Oh, uh, and I will switch out because I hate being confused. It is really nice. That is something that I feel is taken for granted. Just being able to switch out heals your confusion, which I love. That makes me so happy. Um, yes, Tentacruel. Um, I actually go back to James. Use that super effective confusion. Um, there is, Tentacruel does have like a really nice um, counter to psychic moves. It's weak to them. But Tentacruel has a really high special defense stat. Um, so it might be able to tank this confusion pretty well. Okay, so not that well. <laughs> mm. Ah, you joined episode 14. <laughs> so I can read the future. I mean, who knows? Um, Alright, the defense drop ain't bad because we're going to knock this out right now. I, lo I love our boy James. James is delightful. A delightful presence on the squad. Um, Alright. So we have one more nice little double battle there. We'll let Piccolo get in on the action. Um, Piccolo and Ron. Sounds great. Because after this double battle, we should be to Pacific Log Town. Oops, I'll use Rock Tomb. Lovely. I, I, I keep forgetting that I have it because I didn't have it on Ron for the longest time. I should knock out the Wingle, and it does. Lovely. Love to see it. Yes, I know all the Merrills and Azumarils in this game have uh, rollout. There we go. Perfecto. So, this place is super cool. This is, once we get there, this is Pacific Log Town. Very cute. It has kind of like these log bridges um, that connect each one of these uh, decks. Um, and it's just a cool little spot. And again, it's going to be really useful for us to fly back here later for a few of the things that we need to do later in our um, playthrough. It was PP, you're right. <laughs> I forgot about that. I feel like, yeah, I, someone someone in the chat definitely named him PP. Um, so let's do a few things here. Oopsie. Not what I meant to do. There we go. We'll fly to Fortree City because I want to pick up some super repels. Because I prefer them to the max the max version. I'm just getting 19, because that was the number I landed on. Um, okay. And I actually want to check... Um, I want to check Shoal Cave. Um, because this is something that I don't usually do, is go to Shoal Cave and get all the shells and salts. 
because if we can get all of these shells here, we will be able to um, get the shell bell, which could be a really nice item. Um, the shell bell functions a lot like the leftovers in Generation 2 in that it can heal you a little bit, um, but the shell bell heals you based on the amount of damage that you do. Uh, and we're actually out of luck. It is not high tide right now. Maybe on Saturday, it'll be a different tide. Um, because you can get the shells and salts based on the tide, and we already went into Shoal Cave when it was low tide. Um, so we aren't able to get the shells. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh! Cry, yes! I love Year of the Dragon! Um, I would be down. I have the Reignited Trilogy. I, 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 I like the Reignited Trilogy. I thought it was really good. I thought it was really, like, lovingly made. Um, I, I will 100% play through Year of the Dragon at some point. Um, the whole trilogy, maybe, also. Um, but yes, Year of the Dragon is, is my game. I love that. Um, I wanted to name him Stan Evil. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's right, dude. Ah, thank you. Um, okay, what am I doing? Yes, I'm gonna fly here to Moss Deep because, folks, we might be able... Ah, oh, you grew up with Spyro a bit yourself. That is wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, Year of the Dragon was... Oh, this is an inter funny story. When I was young, we had a PlayStation 1, and we would rent PlayStation 1 games from Family Video, which was like Blockbuster, you know. Um, and, uh we rented the original Spyro the Dragon, and it was amazing because I'm gonna shift out Harry just for now, um, because we're probably not gonna need much water type action against Team Aqua. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, we got the original Spyro the Dragon, but we did not have a memory card for our PlayStation 1, so we literally just kept our PlayStation 1 on for, like, weeks? <laughs> and we were able to beat the game. Um, it was insane. Where am I going? I'm going to the TMs. Um, because we need to teach our boy Tentacool both surf and dive, more specifically. Um, so we'll get rid of Constrict... And we will get rid of probably Bubble Beam for Surf. Because Supersonic and Acid could come in handy. <laughs> yes, it was just, it was insane. Um, but I think by the time that we got Year of the Dragon, we got a memory card. So we weren't just destroying our PlayStation. Um, <laughs> Ten chats in three minutes. There you go. Um... Yeah, we're just, uh, we're off to the races over here, Brody. All right, so now, uh, yeah, we totally have time. We're gonna get into the Team Aqua bit. Um, this is going to be, let's see. Oh, already have Super Repel up. <laughs> ben Takul, I love that name. All right, so now, I'm just gonna go until this runs out. I'll just go right now, it's fine. Oh wow, perfect. So, we are right here in the middle of the ocean. We have the dark water around us. The sea is deep here. Would you like to use dive? Absolutely. I love this music. Oh. It's so great. It's the perfect music for undersea exploration. Oh, it's so good. Yes, dive music is one of the best, Cry. Um, I love how it just says underwater. Um, so we are making our way around the bend here. That big um, dark spot can lead us to that spot where I was talking about where you need to dive. And here is our secret entrance. There's the submarine! Submarine Explorer 1. Wow. Okay. So then we can go up. 
and this is you ruined my vibe tentacool um but this is this is the seafloor cavern really really cool um i mentioned this when we did the magma hideout um but in pokemon ruby team magma's last hurrah is actually here um but in emerald they decided to, to leave aqua here but give magma something different that's why magma is in the what you call it the space center in moss deep um your favorite place in helen you say underwater oh this is annoying i forgot we needed rock smash what to do what to do you know what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna teach one of my pokemon rock smash i'm gonna leave yep you know it brody you know it i'm gonna get our boy ziggy um let's see let's fly back um all right all right, I will actually box Chimeco because Chimeco is a level higher than the rest of the group um, and is just not going to be super useful against the dark types of Team Aqua. Excuse me. Okay. All right, so now we're making our way back. Um, do this real quickly. Having the speed up button is just a godsend. <laughs> um... Okay, so let me go ahead and do another repel. Lovely. Okay, so this is the spot where you gotta go deep underwater to find the seafloor cavern. And we'll go in here and we see the submarine explorer one that was stolen from Slateport once again. And it brings us back here to the seafloor cavern. Let's thwart Team Aqua's plot. Um, lovely, okay. More Ziggy screen time. Hey, that's right. He's rock smashing. Um, yes. Um, we're going to need rock smash and victory road, so maybe we'll have Ziggy out for that. Um, I never usually worry about fighting all the grunts in here um, because I pretty much just have memorized how this place goes. Um, so let's just stomp these fools so we can get to the big boss. Yeah, their level's a little bit higher, these grunts. Because, um, like I said, this is where the endgame takes place in both Ruby and Sapphire. But in Sapphire, it's Aqua. Ruby, it's Magma. And now, it's both in Emerald. All right. I think they did actually change this in this game. Um, I think they made this room a little bit easier. But I do know that you got to go to the top left corner here. Okay. And as you get here, you go to the right, and to the right, and to the right, and it'll take you all the way around town. I don't remember what's in that little middle area. I just know that this is the place we gotta be. Um, <laughs> that's Ziggy's rock. Ziggy's the smasher. Ron is the Ron is the mover. We can use strength to pass this here double battle, but I don't want to. I want to. I want to do the double battle. I think it's, it sounds like fun. So let's get in on it. Um, I think this is, um, yes, one of the Aqua admins that is in this double battle with a grunt. Yes, ugh, Aqua admin Shelley. I mean, I think Tex said it last time. Aqua admin Shelley is is uh, unreasonably attractive. Do do. If she wasn't so evil, you know. Do 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 do. Uh, it's actually not too bad that we have the intimidate working because we are not using our attack stat, and that should be a one shot. Absolutely. Put Ziggy in the double battle. Oh, okay. I will. I will. Um, let's see. I'll take out Piccolo. I cannot guarantee that he won't die, um, but we're gonna try. 
Uh, I will take out one of the Mighty Enos, so hopefully... Do it to Ziggy. Dang it. Um, Cause Ziggy getting confused right now wouldn't be too bad. Um, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. As long as Ziggy doesn't die. Oh no. Um, hold on, I'm actually gonna swap him out. There we go. Um, ah, see, there we go. Now the tentacle dies. Um, let's get, we'll get Ron in on the action. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have done this double battle. It's going terribly. Guys, I hate this. Um. This is really annoying. Okay, I was about to say, I was about to revolt. How did that not kill it? Ah, uh, I'm at my wit's end. There we go. Thank you, Ron. Ziggy got 253. There we go. We're snapping out now. There we go. We got a level on Ziggy. Thankfully for us, we do have both of our attack stats raised by two stages now. So this Golbat is as good as gone. <laughs> yes, Brody. All right. Perfect. Aqua Admin, Shelly. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. All right. So this is the one little strength puzzle in here. It's not rocket science, but I'll show you how to do it. You just move these two. Boop. Move this one up. Boop. 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 Easy as pie. Um, and this is actually a huge TM right here. This is the TM for Earthquake. One of the best moves in the game. And again, we are saving it for later for a super secret reason. Um, every kid got stuck on that puzzle. You're right. Um, okay, let's heal the squad. Just use some super potions. Um, a super potion actually won't heal Guzzle all the way, so we'll just get that hyper going. Um, Tentacool can stay fainted. That's okay. We're not really going to use him anyway. I'll save because I have anxiety. And we make our way down here. Like, look at this fog effect. Come on, that's great. I think we had that up on Mount Pyre as well. Oh, excuse me. Um, what was I doing? We are... Who are we starting with? We are going to start with Guzzle. Alright. So much like, uh... Maxi and Groudon, Archie is trying to awaken Kyogre. Let's see how that goes for him. Hold it right there. So it was you after all. So, I think we fight him first, yes. Just gotta get that music going. Because I think we fight Maxi after Groudon flees, but here we fight Archie before. You're right, Brody. He didn't lose a single hit point. Um, oh, yes, that white smoke protect, uh, protects Guzzle from Intimidate. Guzzle's just too good. Guzzle is like OP, man. Um... Oh, guys, I hate confusion so much. It's so dumb. Love to see a takedown miss, though. You're killing me. Oh, another takedown miss. That's delightful. There we go. And that's with plus two attack. Um... 
And for some reason, Archie only has super potions in this battle, even though it's like a super late game fight. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind. But it's just kind of weird. I don't know why they decided to do that and not give him hyper potions. I love Flamethrower, man. Alrighty, lovely. So now we gotta deal with Crobat. Um, and with this, I don't know if we have anything that's super effective against it. Oh, we do actually. Ron's got Rock Tomb, and Ron is going to wall this thing. Um, because his flying attacks will be not effective at all, and the poison attacks will not, um, will literally be immune to his poison attacks. Um, I saw that the other day, Brody, how... Team Aqua and Team Magma only use four Pokemon lines. Like, it's Zubat, Poochiena, Carvana, Numel, and I guess Baltoy. That's like it. Um, they really don't use a lot of Pokemon at all. Which is kind of annoying. And this Crobat is clearly just going to try to confuse us and flinch us forever. Well, joke's on you because I will definitely use a Hyper Potion when that strategy inevitably works. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, this is so stupid! <laughs> oh, so annoying. Oh, I hate it. More like Team Bat and Team Dog. You're not wrong. Especially because I can just hit you with this rock tomb. I'm gonna get confused, Ray. There it is. Guys, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. There we go. And even though this lowers his speed, it'll probably still be faster than me. But if I can lower his speed twice, still faster. <laughs> Crobat's very speedy, and Rock Tomb is being Rock Tomb and missing so much. How is it missing so much? Oh my gosh. The luck has been insane. Okay, finally, faster. My lord almighty. That was horrible. Um, you might be right. You might be right. It might be the curse of Ziggy. Um, oh, here, you know what? I will let Ziggy get some experience against the Sharpedo. Because Piccolo's got a great matchup here. Um, we can just swap Piccolo back in. Okay, not too bad. Um, I'd love to see a one-shot here. Sharpedo's pretty frail. There we go. There we go. Great work, gang. Um, had some horrible luck with the Crobat, but we're sitting pretty. And Ziggy grew a level. Come on now. All right, so now we've defeated Archie. I love Archie's design in this game. He's just a simple little pirate guy. I like him a lot. Um, so now something very similar will happen here with Kyogre. I commend you. I must recognize that you're truly gifted, but he has the red orb... And it awakens Kyogre this time! Oh, this part is always so sick. And it also flees. What? I didn't do anything. Why? With the red orb, where did Kyogre go? Hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily? Good, that should have happened. This is why we awaken Kyogre to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned. You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Oh, no. Mm. Both of them were very foolish. This line always interested me as a kid. What have you wrought? <laughs> it's so epic. I also love how the music drops out here because still got the clicks, but no. The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. Oh. So they both infuriated Kyogre and Groudon. So we're going to have to see what's going on outside.
This music is great. And as you can see, it's like oscillating between heavy sun and heavy rain. Kind of like both Groudon and Kyogre are angered. More on that later. What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. So... I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. That's right, Maxie. You also messed up royally. Um, okay. So now we have to figure out what to do. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. So yeah, we've upset the balance of nature. Caused a cataclysmic event. No big deal. SCG, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. But that doesn't stop all of Hoenn. No, the whole world will drown. Um, okay. So. Don't do anything reckless. I'm going to sue Topolis. Um. Isaac, not now. <laughs> it's the end of days. Um. Ah, that's true. If Archie had that Master Ball that I took from his office, maybe he could have caught Kyogre. You're not wrong. Uh, okay. So we need to make our way to Sutopolis City. And to do that, we'll go up here. Um, there is a trainer up here. I'm just going to skip her for now, though. Because there's a lot of trainers over on this route that we can still fight. And I'll, and I'll make my way back to her because I want to get to Sutopolis. And to get to Sutopolis... It's a lot like the other undersea cavern. You gotta dive here. And then there's another opening. There's also Pokemon that you can specifically catch in this uh, seaweed on the sea floor, which is super cool. Love those bubbles. Look at those bubbles. How cool. Um, all right, so now we'll pop in here. This is how you get into Sutopolis City. But we'll see what's going on in the bay. Facing off. Ooh, they're clashing. Which be crazy. Um, <laughs> how are they breathing underwater? I also love how you can just walk right up to them. We have two titans of the ancient Pokemon world, and you can just swim right up to them. Um, so I'm actually going to heal the squad here really quick. Alright. So now. Uh, I just love this music. It's so... It creates such a cool vibe, this whole deal. Um, so... Here, we have the gym here. Archie and Maxie are standing in front of it because they're just like, what have we done, man? But now we got to talk to Steven because he has another special person that we need to talk to. Um, he's talking about how Groudon and Kyogre are fighting with each other. Uh, you being here now, I'll take, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well, I sure am. No other 10-year-olds are stepping up to the task. And Steven takes us on a nice little walk around Sutopolis City, which is really neat. I always really like this part. Um, to seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think that Pokemon are to be feared. But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. Just nice philosophical questions as we continue toward our destiny. Ugh, it's so cool. <laughs> Your one plot of land will win. Um, so, Stephen tells us that we have to go into this place to talk to someone named Wallace. This is the Cave of Origin. Now, in the original Ruby and Sapphire, this is where you find Groudon and Kyogre to catch them. However, 
Um, that is not what happens in this game. Um, when you get down here, this is the room where they usually are. As you can see, there are sapphires and rubies. Um, but this is where we get to talk to Wallace, who is a new character that we have not met in this game. He is in the previous game, um, but he has a new role. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor Juan with the gym's operation. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more. Somewhere, there's a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that Rayquaza was, uh, that becalmed the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. But I do. It is what May was talking about. And it is the place that is near Pacific Log Town, Sky Pillar. That is where Rayquaza is. And we must get Rayquaza to help quell the fighting of Groudon and Kai Ogre. Don't get ahead of us here, Brody. I don't want to spoil it just yet. Um, so, now that we've spoken to Wallace, we can go find Rayquaza and we can help bring uh, the world back to stasis. Um, but for now, this is going to be a good stopping point for me tonight. Um, and it'll give us a nice little plot point to tie up when we return. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably, probably be streaming on Saturday, um, midday, if I can. That seems to be a really good time um, for a lot of folks. Um, but, folks, this has been delightful. I love this part of the game. I love this music. I love this vibe. Um, really special for me to experience this with others. Um, I really appreciate you all watching. Um, but with that, I will see you all next time. Peace out. Be well. <laughs>